Have you heard the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? Well, personally, I hate that because it's a saying of failure, if you like. Have you heard the saying, get rich or die trying? And it's the die trying part that is the part that always grabs me. Because in this life, you can only do. Trying does not help you one little bit. And to me, the word trying is a sign of failure. It's because you haven't got the confidence to go and do. And I think it was Yoda in a Star Wars film that said, do or do not, there is no try. And that took me way back to when I was a teen with my dad. And I don't recall what the conversation was now, but I must have said something about trying because he had a screwdriver in his hand and he threw it on the floor and went, try and pick that up. So I walked over, bent down, picked it up. I went, look, that easy. He went, yeah, but you didn't try, did you? You just went and did it. So I scratched my head a bit, shook it because I didn't really get the point that he was on about. And he threw it on the floor again. He went, try and pick it up. So I looked at it, went over, bent down, picked it up again, said, there you go. And he went, exactly, it proves my point. You cannot try. You can only do. You either pick it up or you don't. There's no trying. It's not as though you put your hand down there and a magnetic force field won't let you get to it. Because there's no such thing as trying. When you're trying, it's a subtle form of giving yourself a bit of negative, if you like telling yourself that I don't think I can do this, but I'll give it a try. And that doesn't help you one little bit in life. If you tell yourself that you're going to try to do this, what I believe you're doing is you're feeding your brain failure and telling yourself that no, I'm just not good enough. And in the world that surrounds us today, you really have to do a little bit more than try. Because after all, when you think about it, no matter what age you are, this is a short life we get. And don't you think that we all deserve a little bit better than what we've got? And for many of us, the word try holds us back. I can remember a time back in 1992, 1993, when I found that book that I was talking about in a couple of videos ago about what to say when you talk to yourself. And at the time, I'd lost a business, I'd lost a home, I lost pretty much everything that I'd worked for from when I first got employed by myself in my 20, 21 year old, I think I was. I know we, we, don't, we say we don't talk to ourselves, but in our brain we do. And my thinking at the time was, I'm useless. I couldn't even get that together. What a failure I am. How I've let everybody down. And all that kind of stuff. And I could beat myself up pretty much 24 hours a day if I'd have stayed awake that long. And... Through that book, I learned the importance of what you say to yourself. And if you like, it's a bit like fake it till you make it. You have to tell yourself that you can do stuff that you don't think you can. And you have to tell yourself it long enough so that your subconscious mind actually believes what you say. Because your subconscious mind doesn't, can't tell the difference between a lie and the truth. 
And so what you feed yourself is what you get. And the word try always reminds me that you're not going to get anywhere if you use that word. So what we say to ourselves is really important, as are the goals we have to do what we want to do in our life. And that's another important point. Your goals need to be written down so that you can actually see them. Because the things you want out of life, if they're in here and you just daydream about them, they're not goals, they are dreams. And in order to get what you want out of this life, then you need to do something a little more than dreaming and trying. You either can or you can't. And the word can't to me is another of those words of failure. Because when I tell myself I can't, it means I won't. And that's a different thing altogether. And so as we move on in our life, I think it's time that we all stopped using the word try. The only time I ever heard the word trying when it possibly may have been true was when my mum used to tell me how trying I was. <laughs> and so today, which just happens to be my dad's birthday, if he was still here, it seems apt that something he taught me so, so long ago is something I still remember. And I want to wrap this video up with a poem that I believe is so important. I first read it way back when I'd lost my business. And I'd like to share it with you because I think it encapsulates everything I've been talking about today. And it goes like this. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win and you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you'll lose, you lost. For out in the world you'll find, success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. And before we go any further, ladies, <laughs> you can do this too. It might say, man, but I'm not gender biased. I believe in you too. And so that's about it for today's video. If you'd like to click there, there'll be a video that YouTube thinks is just for you. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you've been checking the channel out for a while. And I will see you next time.